We made a $400 mistake on our bus build this week. Welcome back to part five of turning a school bus into our home. This week it was ceiling time, so we headed to the hardware store and loaded up on one fourth inch cedar tongue and groove. As soon as we got back to the shop, we sanded each board down and started the install. It wasn't until row two that we realized the boards were way too thin, so every time we tried to bend them, the tongues would snap off, meaning we had just sanded and wasted all of these boards. After a slight temper tantrum, we headed back to the hardware store and loaded up on a thicker pine tongue and groove option. Once making sure these boards would work properly, we got back to work sanding and staining each of them. For our stain, we used three quarters spar urethane and 25% early American wood stain to get these beautiful, rich red colors that are gonna go so well with our darker decor colors. To ensure the ceiling stays nice and sturdy, we used screws and liquid nails on each, and then to install our LED lights, we simply used a hole saw in each spot and then just pulled the wires through. And after a very chaotic week for Jean and I and our wallets, the bus went from looking like this to this, and it's time to move on to the next step of the build.